Welcome back, Salsa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, this video is to ask for what y'all want to see next on my channel. I got a bunch of videos recorded and waiting to be uploaded, so and some that I'm, I'm working on, I'm, I'm, I'm testing some of these knives. So I'm going to show y'all all the knives I have in the pipeline, and y'all tell me what y'all would like to see first, and uh, I, will, I will look at everybody's comments, and whichever ones get the most votes, that's what it'll be. Because I do these for you guys. So, first three are knives that I got sent in for review from Best Tech Knives. The first one is the Pebble. This is one that I had been interested in for a while. Uh, VG10 Steel. Um, comes in right at around $88. Nice slim package. Great action on this guy. And this thing came hair whittling sharp out of the box. First time I ever got... A production knife out of the box hair whittling sharp unbelievable scary sharp so that's the first one the best tech pebble next one from best tech is in their budget line it's the Thor and uh, this one is 12 C 27 I've done some testing on this I will be talking about the testing I've did I, I tested it between uh, three other knives different companies different blade steels and it's kind of interesting uh, this one comes in right around $52. Um, it's got it's on bearings, G10, G10 backspacer, stainless steel uh, liner lock. That's number two. That's the thorn. The last one from Best Tech is one or, one in their their um, higher price category, and that is the Imp. This one really shocked me. I was thoroughly impressed with this guy. Um, S35 VN steel. Uh, inlaid carbon fiber titanium frame lock to me these are upgraded version that I've been wanting of this knife right here some similarity especially in that blade shape as you can see uh, this one has great action fires out there nice and comfy this is the best tech imp this comes in right at $158 like I said S35 VN next company Got two, two knives in from Wee from Zelric on a pass around. The first one is the Wisp. Very attractive. These are smaller than their normal knives. This one's right at around three inch blade, cutting edge, uh, titanium frame lock. S35 VN steel, carbon fiber inlay, uh, blue anodized titanium hardware, and pivot. So that's the Wisp. Let me know. Um, next one is the Wii Rectifier. This one is one that I liked a lot. This is one I was most interested in. Uh, sub 3 inch blade. Uh, these two, both of these are very, very slicey, nice and compact EDC sized uh, knives. They're, they're very lightweight and uh, I was very excited about both of these that came out. So this is the Rectifier. The next one I got in on a trade. It was made by Wee and designed by Vlad for VDK, and that is the Pharaoh. It's got that, I call it the Rhino Horn. Beautiful Persian blade. I love Persians. I love uh, clip points and bowies, so this was right up my alley. It's another smaller knife, the VDK Pharaoh. And the last two... Uh, next one it would, is going to be my, uh, my year-end review of the DPX Gear Hess Urban. I got this at Blade Show last year, and uh, I've put it through a lot of use, so this is a long-term review, no doubt. Um, let me know. This is, hey, look, it's disappearing because it's a triple black. Nice, nice knife. Last one. Uh, wouldn't be really a review, just a showcase of something I got new. And that is my Para 3 with peeled ply carbon fiber and S90V steel. And I added a deep carry Casey Lynch anode, blue anode uh, clip. I need to find some blue anode hardware as well. I think Blades We Love has it. If anybody else knows any other place that sells um, quality uh, hard titanium hardware for the power three. Please let me know down in the comment section. So there you go Let me pull them out on screen. You got the pebble 
got the pebble, you got the thorn, yeah, thorn, you got the imp, you got the wisp, you got the rectifier, you got the VDK Pharaoh, uh, long term review of the Hest Urban, and Power 3 in carbon fiber. Y'all just let me know which one's in order, which ones y'all would like to see next, because uh, I'm having trouble deciding, and uh, that would help me, you know, give y'all what y'all want. So I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day, and I will see y'all soon. Peace.